Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, green circle inscribed in a right uh, triangle ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, D, E, and F are the point of uh, tangency. And moreover, this line segment uh, CD is 9 units, whereas this line segment AD is uh, 15 units. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, right triangle ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And now let's recall two tangent theorem. According to this theorem, if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same external point, then they are congruent as you can see in this uh, diagram. We can see that this uh, line segment is equal to this uh, line segment. Now let's focus on our original problem. That means this line segment is going to be congruent to this line segment. And likewise, this uh, line segment is going to be congruent to this line segment. We know that this uh, line segment uh, CD is 9. So therefore, this line segment uh, CF is going to be 9 units as well. Likewise, this line segment uh, AD is 15 units. So therefore, this uh, line segment uh, AE is going to be 15 units as well. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, this center O with these uh, two point of tangencies E and F. And here's our much nicer looking uh, diagram. And we can see that this OF and OE are the radii of this uh, green circle. And now we can see that we are dealing with this uh, square OEBF. So therefore, this side length is going to be this side length. So this is going to be lowercase r as well. Likewise, if this is r, then this side is going to be lowercase r as well. Now let's focus on this uh, longest leg of uh, this uh, right triangle AC. Total length is going to be 15 plus uh, 9. That is going to give us uh, 24 units. And likewise, uh, this base uh, AB is going to be sum of these two individual lengths 15 plus r so i can write 15 plus r on this side and finally on this height this uh, bc is going to be the total height is going to be 9 plus uh, this r so that is going to become 9 plus r so thus the dimensions for this uh, right triangle turns out to be 24 15 plus r and finally 9 plus r as well and now since we are dealing with this uh, right uh, triangle so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg of this uh, right triangle i'm going to call this side c this side I'm going to call A and this side I'm going to call lowercase b. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So A in our case is uh, 15 plus R. So let me go ahead and write down 15 plus R whole square plus uh, B in our case is 9 plus R. I can write down 9 plus R whole square equal to c in our case is 24 square and now we are going to solve this equation for radius r and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square we are going to be applying on these one on the left hand side so this is going to give us uh, 225 plus uh, 30 r plus r square likewise we're going to apply on this one so that is going to give us uh, 81 plus 18 r plus uh, r square 
equal to 576 on the right hand side. Now let's go ahead and combine the like terms. 225 plus 81 is going to give us 306 plus 30R and 18R is going to give us 48R plus 2R square equal to 576. Subtract 576 from both sides. This is gone. So on this side, we're going to put in a descending order. I can put 2R square plus 48R and then minus that is going to give us negative 270 equal to 0. And now we can see that this equation is divisible by 2 across the board. Let me go ahead and divide across the board by 2. So therefore that is going to give us r square plus 24r minus 135 equal to 0. Now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it uh, using the quadratic formula. And here's the quadratic formula that we will be using. So in our case our coefficient a is 1 as you can see over here, b is 24 and c is uh, negative 135. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So r is going to be in our case minus b is 24 plus r minus b in our case is 24 square minus 4 times a is 1, c is negative 135 all over 2 times a is 1. And here after a few steps we have simplified this one to negative 24 plus or minus square root of 1116 all over 2. And now let's focus on this square root of 1116. And here I have copied it down. Now we can see that this has been simplified to 6 times square root of 31. And here in this next step I have replaced this by 6 times square root of 31 as you can see. Now I have split uh, these fraction by individually dividing by 2 as you can see. So therefore we are going to get r equal to negative 12 plus r minus 3 times the square root of 31. Now since we are dealing with this radius r it must be a positive. So therefore we are going to consider only this uh, positive sign. So therefore our positive value of radius r is going to be 3 times the square root of 31 minus 12. So therefore our this radius r value turns out to be this one. Here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the base of this uh, triangle ABC. Base is 15 plus r. Let me go ahead and write down 15 plus r but we know our r value is this one so let me go ahead and replace r by simply 3 times the square root of 31 minus 12. I simplify this furthermore so that is going to give us 3 times square root of 31 plus 3 so this is our base. Likewise the height of this triangle ABC is going to be a 9 plus r. Let me go ahead and write down 9 plus r where r is our this value. And here I replace this r by this uh, r value. So therefore if we simplify this thing we are going to get uh, 3 times square root of uh, 31 minus 3 and this is the height Here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle ABC. Now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half time base uh, times height. In our case uh, this is our base and this is our height. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So area is going to be a half times let's fill in the blanks for this thing. Base in our case is 3 times uh, square root of 31 plus uh, 3 times uh, 3 times square root of uh, 31 minus uh, 
3. Now let's recall this famous identity a plus b times a minus b equal to a square minus b square. We are going to apply over here. So this part uh, could become 3 times square root of 31 whole square minus uh, 3 square as you can see in this uh, next step. And if we simplify everything uh, our area is going to be equal to 1 over 2 times 270 is going to give us 135 square units. So thus the area of this right triangle ABC turns out to be 135 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.